The British Empire has never been larger, I'm pretty sure. I mean, sure, we had before Canada and Australia, whatever. That could make a dent, but we have almost all of Africa now. I would say, I would wager, that the British Empire has never been more powerful than it is right now. And right now, after defeating Germany, after defeating the Danish alliance, we do have the Pescitalians to defeat. And they do have 28 divisions here in Italy, in the Italian peninsula. We have 17. So that's not the best ever, but... You know, keep in mind that we have six Italian divisions that are stuck here in Bologna, and we will try to murder them post-haste. So that will be a priority. And we also have these 25 divisions up here that defeated Denmark, that are heading down to support them further. We also have the pocket here with mostly German and Italian troops that are trying to defend Belgrade and uh, German Serbia, I suppose. But after that, we are pretty much out of enemies. If you look over here, we do have the unfortunate thing that the Comintern, which we are not at war with, and that have regained complete strength following the, our defeat of Germany, or you know, that we defeated Germany, have managed to get countries such as, uh, you know, Greece and whatever onto their side, and also Spain. So when we go into war with the Soviet Union, we will have to do it on... A free front war. Sure, Spain will, you know, def be defeated pretty easily. Greece most likely the same, but it will be a, you know, a pricey war. Plus, we need to defeat Japan still. Japan in the Far East is, you know, the the, f the only limiting factor of this British-German war. They are the leader now. I'm pretty sure, or they will be when Italy is destroyed. Then Japan will be the only one remaining before we win. And I also forgot that they do have Bulgaria and Turkey on their side. So we have, you know, the remnants of the Axis to mop up here. And beyond that, we will be pretty much done with Europe, I think, for at least for the immediate future. Then we will have the common turn to take care of. And, of course, United States of America, which is without any... You know, they don't, they don't have any natural faction. I'm pretty sure they can even create a faction. I don't even know. They could create a faction. They most likely will create a faction. The all-American faction or whatever, containing most of, of the Americas. That would be a pretty natural faction for their sake. And I realized here we have four marines that are stationed at Malta. They were stationed under the premise that the Italians would most likely station, you know, invasion there. However, it seems now that it's not very likely that they will. So I could use this to make an assault on stuff like... Corsica. Corsica and Sardinia. We could do that. We could also do a stage invasion on Palermo. That could be interesting. So perhaps we should do that. Wait. Can I select you again? And I want to use Malta and then land here. That should be pretty good. Um, maybe Malta Command will be unassigned. You were nev never supposed to be there. There we go. And that will be done in 28 days. And they also need to reserve the convoys. But we have a powerful fleet, Mediterranean fleet, that is protecting them. So that should go without any hitch. Because Palermo is right now after... Na Naples. Why is Naples? Oh, they are worth the same, apparently. So those are the only remaining factors left. And when we take those, I'm pretty sure that Italy will fall. They might even fall if we take Naples. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And start the time ever so slowly and those six divisions are now dead that's good and now they can continue on focusing there's 45 divisions assigned to that order some will arrive later on and we do we do have natural lack of allies i gotta say though what the hell is this uh siam has accepted the offer to join our faction oh so we got siam on our side wonderful wonderful thank you siam or Thailand, or whatever you call yourselves. Well, I'm pleased to have you with me. Really am. I, it's unfortunate, though, that China decided to go on their own. It's actually just called China now. I'm assuming that since uh, Communist China has kind of collapsed, they renamed themselves, or are they always called China? I don't remember, suddenly. And maybe it was the previous game they were called Naturalist China. Either way, it's not important. 
What is important though is pu pushing through here, so perhaps doing so will help out. It's, um, you know, there's a 14 mountains here in the Abruzzo and, and stuff, which I don't like. Actually, a surprising amount of Italy is, is mountains, just here the divide between the middle and the north. Well, Singapore strategy and... Norway has accepted the offer to join our faction. We stand together. The German Reich declared war on Norway, huh? Well, they are... I'll be damned. They give us, they give us more allies than anyone has ever had. I just said that. We don't have any allies. And then suddenly Japan and Germany decides, Hey, you know what? Let's give Great Britain some allies, shall we? And I do appreciate that. And maybe the radar. That actually gives three times... 50% research check to radar, which is pretty darn nice. So what can we produce now? We do need more mechanized equipment. That we do. So maybe I should add another mechanized equipment, just for the sake of it. And add something like all of these factories, because I have so many factories to use. So many of them. So might as well just add even further. I could fill out. I don't need, I should never have a need for anything. So Spitfires, sure, why the hell not? Add another factory beyond what we already have. That should do it. How much advanced artillery do we still need? Because I could just throw down another factory. I guess I need to let time go. And we also need insufficient resources. Soviet Union. I will use you until I cannot use you any further. And Venezuela wants to offer to send us more divisions. And as always, I know. It's being said to you. Let's see, support weapons, that's good. And what should we do instead then with support weapons done? Mechanized is not too far away, and that means more marine stuff. Is there anything here with the landing? Actually, yeah, landing craft. That would be useful against the Japanese, I'm sure, and against the Americans as well, I'm pretty sure. So can you switch days we know? Yeah, we need more artillery stuff, so, you know, maybe advance artillery and then add as many factories as needed there, down there. And how much anti-tank stuff do we need? Well, that's filled actually, so we're doing well. Maybe add another weapons, weapons free. I mean, I have more factories than God, I can spend it on whatever I want, and we have unlimited resources. What should I do when it comes to destroyers and stuff like that? Wait, did this get burnt down factories? How many factories are we... Let's see, how, how is it going when it comes to the air part? Well, stuff is not going too well in the central Mediterranean apparently. But we could change that. We definitely could. We could take the 440 fighters here and send them down to um, Malta and then from Malta they will be assigned to to do shit here holy shit do they have a lot of fighters here crap holy crap well let's do some 444 fighters more down here why not and uh, do we have an air base over here yes we do Tripoli wonderful and then can go and try to help out. And they have they're, all their airplanes in the, like the entire air force of theirs is down there for some reason. So what more can we do to send here? We could do 292 fighters to send down there from Provence and uh, send to the central Mediterranean. There we go. Now we have some airplanes that should try to, that should help out Malta a bit, but still I want to know what destroys all of this stuff. It's probably just the, you know the battles that we need to repair everything. And how much is still left for repairing after all we've done? We do use quite a lot of trade. Uh, actually, we are from trade we get twenty one and traded goods twenty one, so we are even on trade. Most of it is consumer goods instead. Which could mean that if we do something like... Well, we don't need civilian economy, really. We could go for early mobilization. I don't see anything that would... Partial mobilization? 
Inst yeah, I mean, stuff like this is probably better. Lower the amount of consumer goods factories, so we have more consumer goods factories that can, or civilian factories that can help out with repairing stuff. And here has formed a natural, another pocket. And that's going to be another, well, 20 divisions or so down the drain. And the Italians have lost now 728,000 men. And this one is rapidly closing as well. Belgrade will fall within just a few hours, really. Well, a few days, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Belgrade fell. And that German army is just lost. It's lost. There's nothing left for it. Uh, is this ready to activate? It is, actually. We could send it out. And it should do its mission quite handsomely without any without any problem wait are all of them attacking here I thought not here we go they have landed there they have landed perfect now we can go for one two can go to Palermo one can try to go for Messina actually in fact one can go to down here more and isolate Messina no nope. I said, go for Messina. Try to help out there. And there we go. Now we should go. Now we should go well. So with all of that lost, they are so very, very close to surrendering. They have Taranto left. Taranto will fall very, very soon. Everything in it Italy, I was going to say, but everything here is knocked down. And they had like 20 divisions. The Japanese had 20 divisions here. And now they have lost pretty much everything. So that will be a huge blow to the Japanese as well. The Japanese has lost 153,000 men. Now, so, yeah. And suddenly, a lot of Allied forces have landed in Hong Kong and opening a front towards the Japanese. That's interesting. Holy crap! Holy shit! What are they doing? Well... I, I don't I don't blame my allies for doing that. That's good good work. Italy has capitulated. Wonderful. So there's only oh there's actually <laughs> there was actually Japanese troops there. So what is left now? Well, it is Crete. Wait, who's controlling this? National Union of Crete? What is this? Is the fascist version? Wait, it's still in the comment turn. National... Oh, it, it changed name to that? Wait, are they fascists and they're still in the commentary? Wait a second. So they would join us in a heartbeat. But they are in the commentary for some reason, despite being fascist. Alright. I suppose that makes sense. And this is just a ton of divisions. That all will be lost. Like, the amount of men and equipment that are stuck here. Uh, yeah, holy crap. Just look at look when these numbers dwell, uh, dwindle. There's 34 divisions now. And now they will soon start to go slow, faster and faster downwards as thousands of thousands of men surrender with the German Reich finally losing its last military bastion. It's just, it's just beautiful to watch. It's going a bit slower though than I expected it to. Maybe perhaps we should focus the eff you know, effort down there more. So, 98, 99, now, and done. So, how many men did German lose in the end? Well, German died lost 405,000 men. We lost 404,000, which is quite a lot. I had but to take a break in the recording for just a little bit due to someone ringing on my door and it turns out to be a salesman. And the salesman took up quite a bit of my time, even though I wasn't really interested in what he was to say uh, sell. So that's what's unfortunate. But let's continue on now with uh, taking over the world. And Burnham Montgomery's first army, or Army One, is done with its business, and it has the majority of the British forces under its command. So what, where to place him now, basically, is the question. I think uh, putting him here will be sufficient with most of the forces, though I think at least, you know, some of them. Let's take maybe these guys and these guys. I mean, that will be nine divisions. 
that at least nine divisions can be detached and sent to the nearest port and will then be transferred over here to take over or help out here where Republic of Spain apparently is on my soil and attacking here. I'm not a big fan really. Not really a big fan at all. But well, I suppose we'll have to handle it. Maybe send some more troops. Maybe send like these seven guys. No, it's now they're splitting up. Good, they're splitting up. So take seven more divisions and uh, send over there. That could be useful. And here we are done with some stuff. So Recon Company Reconnaissance. Let's do some more of that, shall we? And over here near Palermo. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a, a big lag spike. I guess we'll just have to tr try to take them out. If it's possible. They do seem to be fairly strong. So perhaps we should wait them out so they don't have any resources left. I suppose that will, will be what we have to do. Now we got the natural focus of radar down. So we can go for... Wait, we can't? Current ruling party is democratic. Oh shit. So we can't go for secret weapons due to not being democratic. What kind of logic is that? So we won't get our bonus in... In nuclear technology and stuff like that. That's just a shame. Like six times? 50% research bonus for electronics? Rocketry technology and nuclear technology. Holy shit, that's just a lot. That is a lot. A damn lot. Alright, I suppose we'll go for naval rearmament then while we wait for better times. And three dockyards here. I think uh, maybe making some more JKN destroyer class ships will be a decent use of them. How much oil do we have? What is it that we need in our daily lives now. Oil, oil, oil. Well, we are both producing and exporting a ton of oil. I suppose oil will be even more... Well, we will get even more oil soon, I hope. German Reich will fall. The United States stands against fascism. Well, I think I've already took care of Germany, so maybe you should stand against me now. Perhaps that will be a thing. Are they still guaranteeing? They are. They're guaranteeing Canada. Are they guaranteeing pretty much everyone? Low manpower. Really? Yeah, they're guaranteeing pretty much the entire continent over there. Both the south and the northern part. So that's unfortunate. We do now have some more divisions to send over here. Maybe we should combine them. Combine them all into one single army under Alan Brook. The unfortunate part here is that naturally Spain has decided that they will get part of the... I was going to say revenue, but that's not at all what I was referring to. Did this immediately create them? No? Oh, it's the British Raj, of course. Like always, every time there's uh, you know unexplained arrow somewhere, it is always the allies that are the cause of it. 